Alright, hello everyone, this is Tokusai on your Miners R Us server. I'm going to give you a little introduction on how to get started on this server because it's a bit different than your normal Minecraft servers. This is our spawn. It's pretty simple. Don't let looks fool you. Our server is a lot more intricate than this simple spawn. Basically what this spawn is, is uh, our old build when we were playing legitimate just the admins. Uh, we've taken our legitimate server and revamped it to allow other people on and have an RPG twist to it. Actually, it's more than a twist. It's a whole new way to play Minecraft. Starting off here, we're going to see all these lovely signs on the wall uh, come down to the end, and it's going to give you information on how to get started. First, job information. Yes, we do have economy, and we do have jobs. Jobs are going to make you money, and money is good on the server, trust me. Uh, here are the different jobs here. You've got miner, digger, farmer, baker, hunter, toolsmith, armorsmith, enchanter, brewer, builder, fisherman. You're limited to two, two jobs right now, and jobs only have ten workers at a time until we need it uh, added. That's just at this very moment, the more people we have on, the more people we need for jobs, it's going to go up. The next part is the beginning of our RPG with classes. Yes, we have classes. No, they're not just in name. You actually get sk uh, skills and lists. So let's look at, our, at how we join classes. First, to see all of our commands, we're going to do class help. And we have all our lovely commands here. We have class help, class list, class set, spell list, bind, unbind, spell name. We need to look at our classes first. So let's go to class list. Mage, fighter, healer, rogue. These are all the classes that you're able to have at this moment in time with our version uh, 1.0. More classes are going to be added on a tier 2 level, but these are our base classes. We're going to go with Mage for this video. So we're going to class Set Mage. And ta-da! We are now level 1 Mage. Now every time you change your class, it is going to restart you at level 1. And that sounds bad, but that keeps everybody from just jumping around and being super hard to beat. With your class, you get spells. So let's see the spell list for our mage. Class, spell list. The ones that you're going to see in green are the ones that you could be able to use at the moment. Right now, we're in alpha, so a mixture of spells are available at a time, but we're going to focus on Magic Bolt for the time being. Magic Bolt is your number one basic attack as a mage. It's something that's not attached to a sword like you normally attack with or a bow here on Minecraft. Instead, it creates a magic bolt or a ball of energy. Really what it does is it gives you a snowball. To use it, you have to bind it to an item. You can bind it to any kind of item that has and that's not placeable. So here I've got a stick, string, a feather, uh, just basically anything that you can hold that does not place. You can bind it to a sword. Now when you bind an item, it binds it to the item ID, not to the item itself. So if you have six different wooden swords in your hand, it's going to all have the same bound spell to it. So let's go ahead and bind Magic Bolt. Alright, successfully bound. Now, to use a spell that you have bound, you're going to want to right-click. And ta-da! See how it's got a snowball in my inventory? Yay, a snowball! Now that you have your first snowball, you're going to want to rebind this spell to your snowball, even though it throws, because the spell, when it goes off, gives you a snowball. So we're going to do class... Uh, bind magic bolt one. So it's not, it's 
bound. Now every time you throw a snowball, it's actually going to do damage. How much damage? 25 damage per hit. And automatically give you a new snowball in your inventory. To you guys, it'll look like just reappearing, but since I'm in creative, obviously they stack up. And that's how you bind and use a spell. It will work with all of the active spells that classes have. A lot of our classes, especially the mage and the rogue, have uh, spells that are passive, like critical strikes and uh, armor and things like that. Now let's look on how to check our HP. Your little hearts are deceptive here. You have much more HP than in the regular Minecraft, and it varies widely between the classes. For our mage, to check it, we're going to do slash HP. It says we currently have 600 out of 600 HP, and our regeneration is 20. This goes up per level, and it's different between each of the classes. To see more information, look at our website and under the race slash class info. To check our level, because you do gain levels uh, with experience, we're going to do slash level. Currently, we're level 1, and we have no experience, and we need 600 more experience to get to level 2. Again, this it's going to reset and look like this every time you change your class. That's the basics on your class. For more information on the individual classes, how to play them, and some strategy guides, again, check out our website, or check out our uh, friend Adam's YouTube page. He's got a little bit of extra information for you guys. Here's a sneak peek at classes. You can join a class right now, but it has absolutely no race bonuses. This is going to be in our next patch, 1.5. We're going to have some race bonuses. But we've got Lumerian, Human, um, we're not sure on what we're going to name this one yet, Philosol, Catling, and Doggins. On this side, you're going to see uh, a list of the gods, their names, the affinity, and how you gain favor with them. In order to get portals to the end and nether, you actually have to talk to a god. They're the only ones that can make you those portals at this point in time. So you have to be within pretty good favor of them. Now, gods are admins on the server, just to let you know, but we're a little bit finicky and we like to make things interesting. So read up here on this wall how to get a good uh, rapport with a god and to be able to ask them to do things for you. That's pretty much it for your basics. After you have your class set and you're ready to get started, you need to enter this portal. You're not going to find any way out of this little spawn, or out of this <laughs> big spawn area. There's nothing for you to do here, so you need to enter Odalar to get started. We're now in Odalar, just outside of uh, Market Town. And here's where you begin your adventure. I hope to see you guys online. Please let me know if you have any questions. Good luck!